Hey adventurers, this is Jerry from Adventures Jerry Lynn. You're not gonna believe this is <laughs> this is episode five on hiccups. Well, I had a terrible, terrible time. Let me give you a little uh, story. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. <sighs> okay, no judgment here. So, a couple days ago, I was just, you know, doing my morning thing. I was making coffee, and I had my had added my creamer, and no big deal. But, um, I always had creamer to my coffee, but this particular creamer, it was new. I've never tried this flavor before. I, I've tried the brand, but never this flavor. So, I tried this. It's probably around maybe 11 or so. No breakfast, just coffee with creamer. So then it gets about like an hour later and then I'm getting like really hungry. So I decided to throw in a frozen pizza, which was cheese and pepperoni. Okay, no big deal. I've had this same pizza, no problem. Then I have, not even... And kind of again no judgment here please no no judgment about five minutes after I got done eating this frozen pizza I thought okay I want to try one of these ice cream bars it's only my second time ever trying them and they're really good so between the creamer and the coffee the pizza frozen pizza and then with the third thing the ice cream bar all within I say an hour span my throat start closing up I'm hyperventilating so I go and I tell my husband I said look there's something wrong I'm having obviously an allergic it's not funny it's funny when it happened it did it, it wasn't funny yeah anyway so I told him and he's like just calm down I said I said, you're not listening. My throat is closing up. Obviously, I had an allergic reaction. In my thought process, I couldn't think fast enough. Like, what could it have been, you know? So I ran upstairs and grabbed two Benadryl. And I took them immediately and I sat down. He's telling me to calm down, you know. I'm, start, I'm starting to hyperventilate. So it's like getting closer and closer. And I'm like, you know, if it gets any closer and my throat, like, like my tongue didn't expand I, or anything like that it was just my throat so I said if it gets and I like pass out you better call an EMS or take me to the hospital or something but eventually the Benadryl kicked in so here I am in my almost middle 50s and <laughs> have you ever had an allergic reaction to something that you've I've always had creamer. Again, this is a new creamer, but I've always had creamer. I've always eaten frozen pizza and an ice cream bar. I guess it was too much dairy in such a small condensed time. Let's just say it was terrible. It was terrible, terrible. And all I want to know is after all that settled down and each day after that, I took away like one thing, like I just, instead of like pouring the creamer in the coffee like I normally do, I me I measured it out for uh, two tablespoons. But then I had no more dairy. And then I was fine the second day. But my question is, if I'm out boondocking with my hubby, or if we're somewhere far, maybe 30 miles out camping, boondocking, whatever, RVing, what do you do when you have a allergic reaction? What if I didn't have Benadryl? I don't have an EpiPen. What do you do in these cases? I mean, um, all our kids are grown. So, like, what happens if one of the kids had, had that? What do you do in that situation? I guess this was a way to prep me or prep us. So, to make sure it's so important to have that checklist when you leave, when you do go out camping for the weekend or if you're going for a long extended period of time a week out or whatever whatever your time is always make sure it's not just the clothing you, you know I've said in previous videos you you don't want to just dress for the weather like today it's what 92 right now you don't want to just dress for 90s 
because it, at night it cools down. You want to have like a hoodie or or a shirt or you know with a long sleeve or something because it may get cool if you're in the desert or if you're in, in, out out I don't know somewhere cooler. <laughs> anyway, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> My thoughts is if you don't have these items in your checklist like like I have this uh, dry eraser board. I have a checklist for everything that I need to take. And I guess I have to throw in there Benadryl and put that in the, uh, what do you call it? First aid kit. Keep some in my purse. But seriously, all jokes aside, I laugh about it now. But it was so scary. I just need to know, what do you do? Put it in the comments below. Oh, and make sure you like, share, subscribe. It helps my channel grow. And when you start to uh, watch, make sure you watch all the way to the end. Yeah, it helps my channel grow. So, but anyway, going back to the story. So just listen. If you were, if you were me and this never happened and you're, I mean, I've never had an allergic reaction. What would you have did? Would you have did the same thing? Would you have gotten a Benadryl or... Um, would you just ran to the hospital or the ER? And again, with all this pandemic going on, I don't. That's the last thing I want to do is go to the hospital. But I don't want to die either in my living room. It was the most stressful, and it just seems like 2020 is just one thing after another. That's why I keep on saying these RV hiccups. You know, we can't go uh, camping. We can't go RVing because the hubby has his hip surgery. If you go back to the first couple videos of um, my hiccups one, two, three, or four, you'll see it's just, it's nice out, it's summer, you want to go somewhere, but you can't because, you know, you got to wait until he, you know, has the surgery. But anyway, I just want you to know that I... Hmm. I laugh, but I get thought here. Um, it was scary. It was really scary. I'm trying to make light heart light heart of the what happened, the hiccup. But not a lot of people are fortunate to get to get somewhere what do you do in that case I don't know I've never ever had my throat want to close up before it was really scary well anyway thank you so much for coming back every single Monday put in the comments below hit that subscribe button and hit that like hit that subscribe button put in the comments and tell me what do you do if that's ever happened to you Again, I'm in almost in my middle 50s if you had a, a, a scenario where, you know, you had an allergic reaction to something. And my thing is, you saw me in the other video, I had ice cream. Obviously, the ice cream by itself was fine. It's just when I had those three things together in such a short, condensed time that my body said, oh, no, 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 no. We're not having that today, Jerry. All right. I love you guys. Thank you, family, for watching. I love you. Take care. If you're out on the road, just be safe. Wear that mask. And um, we'll see you out on the open road. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm sure glad I had my Levi's on. I'm so glad I had my Levi's on. <laughs>